This is the prep packet video for Unit 4, Chapter 9.5, Objective Number 1, where we work with adding and subtracting radical expressions. Like radicals, this is an important part of this section. The idea of a like radical is sort of like like terms, and they have the same index and the same radicand. And just remember, index is this. You're taking it to which power? And the radicand is the number underneath the radical sign. So 3 and 3 are the same, 5 and 5 are the same, x and x are the same, and a squared b and a squared b are the same. And here we have the same indices. Now, remember, just because you can't see one doesn't mean there isn't one there. So this is really an index of 2. Now, you actually have worked with something similar to this in the past when you combine um, variables. So if I have 3x and 4x, they have different coefficients, but the variables are the same. And if the variables are the same, I can add them or I can subtract them. I cannot do this. That expression is complete. I can't simplify it. And by the same idea, I can't do this. <clears throat> because these variables are different and this index is not the same as this and this radicand is not the same as this. So what you're looking for with these, you can combine them if this particular little chunk is the same as this particular little chunk. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. Here, just as I was showing you before, this is just combining variables that are the same. So here I have 4x's plus 6x's gives me 10x's. I'm combining the coefficients and leaving the variables alone. Here, it's the same idea. I have it's the same index and I have the same radicand. So again, this whole chunk is the same. So I have four of these and six of these. If I combine them, I have ten of them, and there they are. Here again, I have to check and make sure first, are the indices the same? Yes. Are the radicands the same? Yes. I can go to work. This is the analogy to this would be x minus 9x, right? So if I have one, chunk minus 9 chunks, I'll end up with negative 8 chunks. And the chunk here is 5 to the fourth root. Here, I'm going to check the indices. Those are the same, but the radicands are different. So I can't combine those. Only if they match. So let's take a look at some more. I really want you to get these, so that's why I gave a lot of practice. Here I'm going to inspect it, and I have this is the same as this, so I can combine the 9 and the 2, and now I have 11 of those. Here I have the cube root of 2 minus the 4 times the cube root of 2, so I have a match. And then 1 minus 4 would be negative 3 cube root of 2. Over here, up on number 6, and I apologize again that these numbering things are crazy, but I picked them up from something else. So bear with them. So here I'm going to look and see what's the same. So here's the square root of y, and here's the square root of y. And here, well, that's the cube root of y. 
and that's the cube root of y. So I'm not going to end up with one term, but I'll end up with two. So 9 square root of y minus 3 would be 6 square root of y, and then I have two of these and two of these plus 4 cube root of y. And again, I'm just combining like terms. I went through to find all the things that matched up. This is where those Marie's colored pencils come in handy. Um, here, let's see what we've got going on here. <coughs> I have the square root of 5 and a square root of 5, but the square root of 3 is going to stay by itself. So 1, so that's negative 10 root 5 plus 7 root 3. And again, it's ju you're just combining like terms. And here your term is the index and the radicand. So for further practice, I want you to try the you try problems on page 554. Make sure that you include this work with your prep packet because practice makes perfect. See you next time.